You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, Days for Our Lives fans. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I've got your brand new promo from the NBC streaming soap opera. And the title of this week's promo is Missing because somebody goes missing and because somebody went missing, somebody else goes missing. So I'm pretty excited. It's good stuff. We're building up to May sweeps, and there is a whole lot to unpack here. If you haven't, please reach down and click subscribe. And of course, stick around to the very end of the video when I will show you this brand new promo. So the cat caption for this is kind of odd and it is chemistry comes in waves. I don't know who writes these captions for the videos, but since we're dealing with replacement writer stuff, it's gotten really wonky. All right. So we have a few scenes to talk about. Jada and Rafe are all smiles. They are at the Salem PD and talking. And of course, she's very frustrated with what is happening with Bob Everett, the husband that she wishes was her ex-husband, who's not quite her ex and Rafe says to her, you think I should ask you again, huh? And Jada says, I think you should ask me again. And they're all smiles. So the question is, what are we talking about? What did he ask? Well, it's been a minute. It's been since December, early December of 2023, when he asked her something big. So what is that like? Four months, five months now. So that's a big throwback. Back in December, he asked her to move in with him when she was, I think that was around the time she was still sharing that little room above the Brady pub with her sister, who's now gone. And they were talking about how crowded it, oh, that's what it was. They were talking about how crowded it was and they didn't really have room for a tree. And she got that sad little Charlie Brown Christmas tree. So he asked her to move in and Jada pretty much freaked out. And that's when we first started hearing about her awful ex-husband, Bobby Stein. And we saw the picture of her in her uniform showing off the ring on her finger. That was about a month before Everett Lynch rolled into town. He came in early January. January 2024. So it looks like she wants him to ask her to move in with him again. Obviously, they can't get married because, you know, she's still married to that guy who has amnesia and refuses to sign the divorce papers under someone else's name. So it looks like this is probably going to happen on Friday. We'll see. The only Rafe or Jada spoilers for next week are on Friday, April 19th, when Rafe pressures everyone it to just sign the damned papers. He wants to move in with Jada, but obviously they want clean ties cut between her and her husband. I don't think he's going to get anywhere with him. And Jada listens in while he talks to her husband. So our second scene, we're back to this Romeo and Juliet thing. Holly is staring long, longingly at Tate as he walks by with his parents and he stares back over his shoulder equally longingly and then he has to go into the pub with his parents. And Teresa says, that girl, she's bad news. And Brady says, we're trying to protect you. And Tate jokes from Holly, the teenage werewolf. And Brady says, okay. And because <laughs> Teresa says, if the fangs fit, which is very funny. And Tate's upset at her and says, mom. So this should happen on Monday, April 15th, because official spoilers for that day say that Brady and Teresa again demand that Tate stay away from Holly. Let's take some bets. Do you guys think that Tate is going to stay away from Holly? No, he's not gonna. And I find the new Tate a little disconcerting, not because he's not a good actor. He's quite a good actor. He's quite attractive, but he just is not pulling teenager for me. Not those vibes. The Ashley Pazimas who plays Holly is also in her 20s, but he is like 26, you know, and she is, I think, 22, maybe. And the old Tate was a little younger than her, was like 20. So they are still all in their 20s. But Leo Howard, to me, the actor just can't play teenager. But it is what it is. You know, what are we going to do? All right. Our next scene, we are at the Horton Cabin on Smith Island. There's a big snowstorm. And so we've got Julie Williams, Chanel Dupree, and Johnny Demera all trapped at the Horton Cabin. Remember on Friday, Julie showed up looking for peace and quiet because there's too many people in the Demera Mansion. Now, I call shenanigans on this writing, by the way. Again, we're still dealing with the replacement writers. The Demera Mansion, I mean, not the Demera Mansion, the um, 
the Kittyakis Mansion has got to be bigger than the Horton house that burned down, right? But Julie's complaining about there's kids everywhere and everybody's on top of each other. But those are the same people that were living with her and Doug at the Horton house. Chad was there with the kids. So, and you know, the baby isn't there. The baby lives with, Victoria lives with Xander and Sarah. So it just seems like kind of sloppy writing that she just had to get away. Anyway, Julie nonetheless has interrupted their honeymoon and Julie rants next week about a snowstorm in the middle of April and we've got Johnny and Chanel all bundled up in clothes and then in the promo Julie asks Johnny in a panic where's Chanel and he is equally panicked and said isn't she here with you so this began on Friday and it continues on Monday the 15th as Johnny and Chanel make the most of being trapped with Julie they hang out they play charades they're having hot chocolate and then spoilers confirm that Johnny goes out to get more firewood to keep them warm but he's gone long Longer than Chanel thinks he should be. So she decides to go outside to look for him. Plus, she's hoping to get a little moment alone with him away from Julie in the tiny cabin. And then Johnny comes back and Chanel is not with him and they go into a panic. So Tuesday, April 16th is when she goes missing. And then, of course, we have Paulina still trapped in her hospital room in that radioactive isolation thing. And she is on the phone in shock. So spoilers say that Paulina calls Chanel's phone. Looks like on Tuesday while Johnny and Julie are worrying and he he puts her off and he goes outside to look for her some more. And he initially kind of fibs to his mother-in-law and just says she can't come to the phone. But then when he's outside searching for Chanel, Paulina calls back and Julie tells her the truth this time. And Paulina panics and is like, my daughter is missing. Sarah comes to check on Paulina in her hazmat gear and everything, but her patient is not there. And Marlena confirms this. This happens on Tuesday, the 16th. Marlena, Marlena says, Paulina is gone. So she just like skates out of there. She is radioactive. <laughs> this is not a good idea. And Marlena talks to John about it. And she says they can't go anywhere near her. She's radioactive. So I did look this up, by the way, just to see. And it's especially dangerous if you get near someone who is pregnant or a little baby. But if you stay several feet away from people, you're not like a block of uranium that's going to infect people. But, you know, obviously they're making more of it than it really is. And official spoilers say Paulina uses her mayoral powers to commandeer a piece of machinery or equipment to help with the search. Maybe it's a drone. I don't know. I don't know if those work in snowstorms. Anyway, because they're they are in such a remote area. So Wednesday, April 17th is when Paulina pitches in and the search for Chanel hits high gear. I just want to say I'm a little bummed that this turned into a Chanel Johnny Julie story. Not that I don't love Julie, but it just seems like it would have been much more exciting as a Chanel Johnny and Clyde Weston story. I mean, if there's any justice in the world, Clyde is using that snowstorm as a cover to kidnap her and kidnap Johnny. But it does not seem to be going that way. This is more replacement writer stuff. And Ron Carlovati has complained about it. And I agree with his complaints. All right. That is everything that's going to happen on the promo and the dates is going to happen. And I'm about to show you that promo. Hang tight for one second. If you haven't, please reach down, click subscribe. Definitely drop your comments. Come back soon. We're talking Days of Our Lives seven days a week on your number one soap opera spoilers channel on YouTube. This is Belinda from Soap Dart. Now buckle up. Here is that new day's promo. You think I should ask? Ask you again, huh? I think you should ask me again. That girl, she's bad news. I'm trying to protect you. From Holly, the teenage werewolf. Yeah, well, if the fangs fit. Okay. Mom. A snowstorm in the middle of April. Where's Chanel? Isn't she here with you? My daughter is missing. Paulina, she's gone. They can't go anywhere near her. She's radioactive.